Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? And today, guys, we're gonna be looking at Ariana Grande if she was a mermaid. Uh. But guys, today we're gonna be looking at the new Mermaids Mermaids Harmonique doll. I bought her on Walmart for $32.99. That's USD, of course. And she like kind of just popped up. People did buy her. I was one of them. Yeah, I'm just very curious to see what she's giving. So far, she's giving Ariana Grande realness. But before we get into any of that, let me roll my intro real quick and we can get into her. Hello! Just hit an Ariana Grande note. Hi. Okay, guys. So this is a Mermaids Mermaids doll. You guys are unaware. This is a new doll line from MGA. And this is one of the characters. Her name is Harmony. And the whole gimmick of these dolls is they have a color changed tail and you know they're mermaids. Kind of like it's part of the name. Come on, guys. But this is Harmony. She is very much a pop star. And you can see she has like some sweetener world tour kind of vibes to her. And she also has this really long bubble ponytail. I love bubble ponytails so much. And this this is what their box looks like. It's quite interesting. You can actually touch the physical toy. Now, if you guys know me, I don't like the idea of the toy being exposed in the box. I think that them doing this is going to lead to some paint chips or the fin coming off. Mine's already actually does have paint chipping at the end of the tail because of that. And that's just from shipping and handling. Imagine if a kid actually gets to play with this. They're gonna be swinging around like this. It's probably gonna come off. I just know it. So I'm honestly really hopeful that in future waves of these dolls, this kind of vibe is gone like as nice as it is to actually like touch the doll it's kind of just like not great either but the box is quite interesting it does look like she's going from water and then this is land kind of like a kind of vibe you know what i'm saying and this side you can see there's a color change tail like little blurb and these dolls do not have artwork they just have their doll promoting them basically and right here it says mermaids mermaids it's a very holographic fonting and these are actually for ages four and up they do like i said retail for 32 dollars 99 it is quite an expensive doll for what you're getting but i'm very curious to see if she's worth the 32 dollars or if she should have been cheaper on the side of it it says m for mermaids and then on the back of the box we have a picture of all five dolls that are part of the first collection we have harmonique jordi riviera chanel and kashiko it says mermaids in the background and it says mermaids behind the waves beneath the surf into the deep blue follow the fabulous fins of mermaids mermaid to discover something amazing and then we have some little blurbs about harmonique she's a pop star performer and, and no spotlight is enough for her. There's also this pull here tab, so I'm very curious as to how that's going to assist the opening of this box. And guys, if you're looking for Harmonique, here is her barcode. Go ahead and take a screenshot right now. But yeah, guys, it's time to get her out of the box. I really don't know how this is going to be, like the unboxing experience. So let's see if it's easy or not, shall we? That voice crack though. Okay guys, so I got Harmonique out of her box and this is everything that comes with her. There's nothing else other than this instruction booklet, which will tell you how the color change feature works along with how to take the hands off and that you can braid her hair and one of these survey sheets. Other than that, this is pretty much everything you will get inside of that box. The box was quite hard to open, not gonna lie. The tail being exposed really kind of made the unboxing experience a little difficult. I do kind of hope that, like I said, they stop the tail being exposed in future releases, but um, yeah. But here is Harmonique out of the box. She is very much serving her pink realness. She's really cute. I do think she's a pretty doll. Her hair is this kind of bubblegum pink nylon. It is the shiny stuff, so it kind of feels really rough at the end. I'm hoping with the wash, it does just, you know, feel a lot nicer. But she has a very long bubble ponytail. And something I noticed right off the bat is she is quite bald. Very noticeable bald spot right in the middle of her head. Um, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I might try to move her little mic down so it kind of blocks that but yeah she also has these hot pink strands which are also shiny nylon that are kind of curled and these are the things that they say you can braid in the instructions like her promo mark she has a silver piece of plastic around the first bump of her hair but the rest are just silver elastics as for her headset it is a shiny silver material it has like embedded glitter into it and it has a little microphone right there you can see and right next to it she has a big pearl earring it's just a bunch of them and it kind of looks like a necklace the little tendrils are getting in the way if we move on to the mermaids dolls faces they also have inset eyes like rainbow high dolls a lot of people were saying that these reminded them of project mc square and i can totally see it so she has really thick brown eyebrows she also has a very intricate eye look so she has some pink and silver on her 
lid. And she also has like this dark kind of purple buffed out along with a white liner and a black liner. And she also has like some kind of shiny stuff under her eyes. I wouldn't say her skin is shiny like a Rainbow High doll, but it kind of is giving off that vibe a little bit. She has these really cute iridescent pink lips. They're really pretty. I honestly do like the lip sculpt and they also have real eyelashes as well. I really do like the head sculpt a lot. I think it's a really pretty mold. She has a really cute choker on. It's silver in the middle and pink on the sides. It has some silver studs on it too. We move down to her outfit, I guess you can say. <laughs> she is wearing this top that is pink right here. It is kind of made of a see-through material, but she does have a painted on bra underneath that is shiny. So it's not really exposing much. The sides are made of the same material. It's kind of like a tool or chiffon. The shoulders go out and the rest are just long sleeves. Her jewelry is molded on. So she has some bracelets that are silver and another pink one right there along with a ring. But like I said, all this is molded on to the doll. And then if we move down to her like belts and stuff like that, she has a corset on first, which is this really cool hot pink kind of shifty material. And that is one solid piece. And then you have this belt that is also removable and it has a big silver ring in the middle with a bunch of little ones connecting with more of these kind of strap. I feel like this is gonna be a very iconic piece for a lot of people. They're gonna really like it. She also has a belt made of the same material. It doesn't open, it's just kind of for looks. It has a little stud right there. It has this kind of like beaded chain around and it goes all the way down to the bottom of her tail with some more hardware. It's actually a really cool look. Now, if we move down to her tail, this is probably one of the biggest things of controversy with these dolls. The dolls do not have real legs. They have just a molded tail. It is quite hollow, but I think that's so that the doll can float if you're playing with her in the tub or in the pool. It is kind of this geometric shape. It is blue, pink, and purple originally because the tail does change color in warm water. And her tail fin is also very crystallized. It has some purple here and the edges seem to be turning silver. I think that is going to be her color change. We'll see. Now, one thing I am kind of bugged by with the tail is that they don't have a knee joint because I feel like they would have had so much better posability if they would have given them just a simple like knee joint. Especially because they're mermaids, they do need to pose a little more. Them having a very static tail is kind of a turn off to me. I'm hoping that with future releases or even more deluxe dolls, they'll actually have this little joint right here. They could easily disguise it pretty well too if the tails are all uniquely sculpted like this one is. The tail does change color in warm water. I will show you that at the end of the video, of course. But guys, before I do any of that, let me show you what her articulation is and then we'll move on to her bag. She has a normal range of motion in her head. It's not the best, but it's better than what Rainbow High was giving in its first wave. <laughs> she has her shoulders elbows, her wrist. She has a chest joint and her hips could go side to side. But another pet peeve of mine is she can't really sit. They didn't carve this enough so she can actually sit forward. She honestly can only lean a little bit and her chest articulation doesn't really help. So I don't know how that's going to work with, you know, sitting and posing. But yeah, the tail fin does move as well. And this will work as her stand. It works pretty well too as a stand too. So you can really just pose her to look more straightforward, And she will stand on your shelf just like that. So it is cool that they did that. I'm not mad at the tail fin being the stand. I think that's really cool. Monster High did it and some other dolls have done it in the past. I just wish that they really did have something here, but you know, future waves, future waves. So this is her bag. It is a translucent pink material. It has some embedded glitter in it as well. It has this long molded silver chain strap and then it has these two shell handles. They kind of move a little bit, but like not really. And you can't really fit anything in there because it's super thin. It's a cute little bag, I guess. And she can hold it on her very delicately posed hands. But yeah, guys, now it only leads to doing her color change, which I'm actually kind of excited for. I'm hoping it's like really cool. So um, let's get to that, shall we? Okay guys, so my tripod just broke. We love that. We are going to test out her color change now. I put her in this container. You'll you'll find out what this is in a few weeks. Now, Harmony is a warm water color changer, but like, you know, you need kind of hot water, like not boiling, but like just a little hot. Um, so I just microwaved this pitcher of water and we're just gonna dump it over her. Three, two, one. Oh, that was fast. So as you guys can see, her tail has changed into a silver kind of chrome color, but it seems like it's only on one side. The other side is still the purple and blue. I mean, it is a cute little color change, not gonna lie, but I do kind of wish that it would have gone all the way around her body so that it makes sense. Um, I'm not sure if the other dolls are gonna be like this. Um, I haven't really watched much reviews, so um, we'll find out once we get this. And before I prop her up and dry her off, I'm gonna show you how it changes back. Like, it's this dramatic. It's like instantaneously almost. But as you can see, the water is still warm enough that it's, you know, keeping the silver color. So that's kind of cool. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go pat her off and we will end this review, shall we?
Okay guys, so I've kind of patted her off and in the instructions it says to get the water out, you have to put her in the stand position and it'll just drip out. Kind of giving me Lala Loopsy vibes when they added the hole to the back of their head. But anyways guys, that is the end of Harmonique's review. I do have some critiques about this new doll line and it's only just to help it get better in the future. So first things first, I would have to say is, would love to see is them able to sit and also have a knee articulation because I feel like that's just gonna add to the posability of the doll. Now, I'm not sure if that would affect the tail being the stand, but um, I would really like that, especially because, you know, they're mermaids. They've gotta be able to swim and do all that kind of stuff, you know? I think the faces are actually really pretty and I do have to say that the tail color change is quite cool and them having their own unique sculpted tail is actually really cool as well. But for the color change, I really wanna see it all the way around because like you're gonna go into water and it's just gonna do the front. Kind of weird. So um, I'm gonna see how the others are whenever I get them and we're gonna see if they all are like that or it's just Harmonique. The biggest pet peeve of mine is the box. I don't like how the box is visible for people to touch the tail in the store. I have seen some people who've been finding Harmonique in Walmart and the tails are completely scratched up and it's because it's visible to the public. So um, I feel like they should change that up just because, you know, we don't want their tails to be broken or chipped, you know, once you get them. It's just gonna be very bad. Other than that, like I said, the doll is really pretty. I think she's really cute. She is serving Ariana Grande and I love her. Another thing is too, she is quite thinly rooted and I would love to see her have more hair. I understand this because it's a ponytail, but still, I mean, I feel like she needs the hair, you know? But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on Mermaids Mermaids? Are you buying any of them or are you not interested in them at all? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And yeah, if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at zombieexcorn as well. And guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.